Piers Corbyn, oddball brother of Jeremy, has come to prominence of late due to his anti-lockdown and anti-vaccine activism. He is a wrong one. However, while Piers Corbyn's opinions might be wrong, a video released this weekend shows his musical talent is even worse. Take a look at this crime against musicality. Do you know, wearing a mask is like trying to keep a fart in your trousers. Wearing a mask is like trying to keep a fart in your trousers. Wearing a mask is like trying to keep a fart in your trousers. Wearing a mask is like trying to keep a fart in your trousers. Wearing a mask is like trying to keep a fart in your trousers. What is it like? It's like trying to keep a fart in your trousers. What is it like? It's like trying to keep a fart in your trousers. Wearing a mask. It's like trying to keep a fart in your trousers. Wearing a mask. It's like trying to keep a fart in your trousers. What is it like? It's like trying to keep a fart in your trousers. What is it like? It's like trying to keep a fart in your trousers. So, New World Order, we've never followed any of your mad dictates, and we, and never, we will. never will! Resist! Resist. Goodbye! Do not comply! Resist! Defy! Do not comply! Resist! Defy! Do not comply! Feed up! Feed up! I'm sorry. I'm sorry I subjected you to that. You know, there are thousands of people... <laughs> at Wembley right now listening to WizKid and I'm here listening to Piers Corbyn's caterwauling and wearing I've never a mask. regretted joining Navarra Media more. Is wearing a mask like trying to keep a fart in your trousers? One, no. Two, the logic is that because farts exist that no one should be wearing trousers and in fact it's desirable, <laughs> more desirable to fart with your trousers off. Three, it's comparing your face to a fart like, that point's actually quite important because if someone were to fart on me, especially like in a public place, <laughs> I would prefer them to be wearing trousers. I would prefer and the same as if someone trousers. were to cough or speak on me on the tube, you know, given that we're in the middle of a pandemic, I'd prefer them to be wearing a mask. So the analogy doesn't, doesn't work. I saw Piers Corbyn and some of his anti-vax COVID denialist mates pitch up at TWT and there ended up being a bit of a melee. And I think that, sure, part of this motivation might be ideological, but I think that there is just like a very neurotic need for attention. Like, I don't think this is coming from a place which is rational or particularly ideological. I think that there's something within these fringe circles about being seen and just being prominent, even if all you are is a big fish in a small pond and kind of seeing all of those, you know, deranged gazes, looking up at the camera, singing their song, which didn't make sense, completely locked out. You know, they couldn't find no key. I just think there's got to be something, I don't know, in the childhood explaining some of this stuff. 